Hello, welcome back to some intense music and I guess the curse randomly appears and disappears because well I was just minding my own business on the shore and then I became a skeleton. Well I guess it does show you when you this skeleton of eyes. Yeah. I guess when you change back to your skin. Okay, more or less. So the course is randomized, so that's why you need the skill points to kind of uh, play around the mechanic. I don't see any sharks, so I was trying to see what else is around the island, and guess what? There are a few shipwrecks that I want to explore, but you can only explore them while you're in skeleton form because you don't need oxygen then. Otherwise you drown. And also there are sharks in those waters, well, I don't know. I guess we can see later what we can do with them. Yeah, the music can get annoying. So let's enjoy just the vast ocean. I think the music is a little bit of a problematic issue. It's kind of hard to get uh, license for good music, but uh, this should have been a little more appropriate for the age, not that modern loop. Okay, as usual, we'll go on the beach, we'll not go in the main port because we're wanted, and we'll save our game. Maybe I should just save my game and then see what happens if we surrender. And we hit again. We have hit land. Ahoy. Where did I put my fireplace? It's showing me... Or... Huh. I guess it just vanished on the beach, which is stupid, okay. I guess we can collect a few more resources since I need, uh, I think, one more piece of wood to make the campfire. Yeah, one more piece of wood. Oh, and by the way, when that curse happens, you have very low health. Which is very problematic. I don't have all the required items. All the required items. So I guess we can just make a little axe. Sorry about this. I thought I was prepared. I played for about 30 minutes before I started the recording, but I guess you can never be prepared in a survival game. Oh, we actually got enough food, okay. So this time we'll remember where we put the fire. So remember, you have to put down the fire, then you have to put the materials and build it, and then you have to use your stick to light it on fire, and then you can save your game. Eh, a bit too long for my taste, but what can we do? I also have 186 gold, so first of all I want to surrender to see what happens. Because I don't like to be wanted. <laughs> Did the lights turn off? I want to be a good pirate. <laughs> and that's why you say whoopsie. I guess I didn't see the snake or hear it. Yeah, okay. Animals will not attack you in skeleton mode. Okay, so apparently skeleton mode has a lot of benefits. But that makes me wonder what kind of animals are there. I surrender. Hey man, I surrender. I guess there's no retreat, no surrender. Oh. Interesting. So, what do you lose if we surrender? Achievement are not arrested. Ok, 
Okay, so you have to do the pig log game. Well, I don't see where my gold is. Do we lose all of our gold? Yeah, probably. I'm not sure. To be honest, I'm not sure. I don't care. I don't know. It looks like we lose all of our gold. Oh, I forgot we're in skeleton mode. So that means they'll... Well, they'll, they'll try to kill the poor skeleton. Hmm. Interesting mechanics, but I don't think they explain them well enough. I mean, what do you do if you become skeletal in the cell? Stop playing for 5 minutes and go and cook lunch? I guess that would work. Yeah, I guess we have zero. I repeat, we have zero. Did we lose some of our coconuts? I think we lost some of our items that I don't understand. I hope he's not afraid of us. Well, that answers that question. He's afraid of us. What did I do? I'm, I'm not wanted. I'm not in a restricted area, so what do you want from me, game? <laughs> do you do you have a bone to pick with me? Because I don't have a bone to pick with you. Looks like I cannot get my gold back, so I guess that's that, okay. <laughs> Lesson learned. Oh, I put the fire over there. Well, that's very far away from where I need to be. Is that our island or is that a new one? I think it's a new one. Bottle of drink. A drink from the bar. Okay, sure, no problem. I can bring you a drink if I had some money. Or maybe they'll give it to me for free. Why am I climbing this? What am I doing? What am I going to steal? Or how am I going to get in trouble? Well, I see something that I can pick up. Oh, cup of drink and bottle of drink. Okay, so we don't have to buy it. I mean, we're a pirate. We, we just touch it until it's in our pockets. Oh, we're hungry! I guess we're, we were skin and bones, I mostly. <laughs> Just eat a snake, snake steak. A snake steak, wow. That sounds weird. Snake steak. By the way, you can also use our mouse well to do it like this, but... Eh. This coconut looks like it's crying. I don't know if that's intentional by the developer or not, but it looks funny like that.
There is no one over here. Oh, I guess it's the middle of the night. Oh, this has even some stealth mechanics, really? Okay, so apparently there's a lot more to do in the village. Oh no, we didn't lose any gold, it was just not showing it to me, okay. Press F to knock down. No? Okay. Okay, we're just inspecting the bed to see if there are fleas in there. No, my pirate cutlass is better. Look at this pointy thing. It's, it's a civilized weapon. I don't like it. Well, I guess it's very clearly shown which items you can interact with and I kind of enjoy that. Uh, this reminds me of that desert game. Ah, you probably know it. A desert game where you are being chased by a hydralisk. And you're supposed to survive, craft a little bit. Uh, it's good, it's a good concept, but it didn't really went anywhere. Hmm. I see shiny. We're a real, we're a real burglar. Oh, okay, this is pretty funny. I have to say the mini game is not bad compared to what I've seen in other games. Oh, I hear music. This reminds me of Valerio's song from Runescape. The game has some charm, I, I guess it has a lot of charm, to be honest. I didn't do anything, believe me. Oh, you get in trouble only if you attack the guard. And only if the guard sees you. Well, that's an interesting mechanic. Here, eat a steak, It'll be, you'll feel better. What about the drink? What does the drink do? Well, bottoms up. Huh, delicious cool water. It's kind of hard to tell in which buildings you can go in. Well, I guess your best explanation is if you can see inside the building, then you can go inside the building. Oh. I thought we can use that or drink. We are so thirsty. Well, let's see what we can buy with our hard-earned money. We can buy a rusty dagger. Damage 20. But the price is pretty low. Long sword damage 40. So why does the long sword have the same price as the pirate cutlass? I don't know. So for 100 gold we can get like this. Oh. We can sell our coconuts or the fishing rod. That's very, very interesting. I like this system. Okay, what else can we buy? I hope we can buy supplies because I don't want to <laughs> eat coconuts all day and drink coconuts all night. Oh, so this is the food merchant. Yeah, I guess we can just buy the food we need. But I guess it's just a lot better to craft it. You have a... 
quest for me? Raw fish. Sure, okay. Well, like this, they have a lot of work for us to do. It has an interact button, but I cannot do anything. I guess you can steal all of their stone. Okay, this is fun. Let's do the quest and then we'll, go, we'll come back and, uh, I don't know, mess around more with them. Hello, dear. <laughs> she has a very cool expression. Oh, it says barber shop, but it's not open. Okay, I guess we can buy it, maybe. maybe. Yeah, I don't know. For being such a simplistic game, it has such uh, such an interesting world building element. Hello, don't kill me. Oh, you don't kill, don't kill me either. No one kill me. I guess all you wanted was a drink, so can you keep the extra bottles? Ahoy there. Bring map from where? Okay, I need to look. Yeah, so we're supposed to play and uh, do all of the quests and until we unlock the the ship recruiting and stuff like that. Soldiers' office. Okay. Well, this is the tavern. Okay, so this is it. Uh, probably I should build a little fire over here. Wait, wait, wait. So the more you advance in the story, the more items you get. We have iron nail and planks. We didn't have this before. Curious. And very interesting at the same time. Okay, so pressing Q actually drops your item. I don't mind me, I'm just, you know, gardening the place. <laughs> I'm from the local mayor's office. I'm sent here to, you know, uh, delicately cut the branches of the tree. Just, you know, clean the trees. Yeah, nobody cares. <laughs> just like in real life. Yeah, sometimes he feels like he's drowning, like he's a fish on the shore. I probably need about four coconuts, so let's just make four of them and let's forget about it. This is annoying. <laughs> Quickly, don't dehydrate yourself by <laughs> carving up the coconuts. It's actually pretty well uh, animated. Okay, can you survive a few more seconds? Yes, you can. Feels like his boots are on fire or something. He complains a little too much, in my opinion. Oh, do okay, those people even have a... Oh, what do you call it? A dancing hall, maybe? Oh, no, they're just on the street, but it looks like a dancing hall if you look at it like this. Okay, where is my pointy stick? Do I not have a pointy stick anymore? I guess we will have to craft a pointy stick now. Okay, let's look at him this time. 
I guess the basic stone knife is very very important. Yeah, this is taking too long, so in order to save my game I needed about what, 2 minutes of uh, busy work? Also the sun is setting down, so you can go probably inside the guard's office in the night time. I like this system, it's, it's a little tedious, but it's relatively fair. It's in the town town hall. I heard the sword being drawn. I hear a snake. <laughs> okay, so if we enter here, what did we accomplish? Nothing. Okay, so we can steal stuff. Okay, that's a little weird, but I guess I understand the concept behind it. Ooh, there's someone in here. Do I have to come during the daytime or do I have to wait more until he gets out of the building? I guess we can just enter it and then... we become wanted if we uh... oh there's a back door as well okay just kill me and then I'll come back for it hey I'm a skeleton be afraid of me I'm a cursed skeleton okay I don't want to go to the main menu I just want them to load my game before I got so how do you well I guess he was at his desk and if he's at the desk you can steal the map yeah, interesting design. I'm not sure what to say about it, but I like it anyway. I guess you just have to wait until he goes to the desk. No, I'm still not satisfied with this. Let's try that again. How can you steal it without him noticing you? Or maybe you should just, you know, join him out on the other side and then come back on the other side like it's like it's a comedy show. Okay, we'll try it like that then. Okay, so he doesn't leave the room. Okay, very curious. I guess you'll, you'll always get wanted if you steal the map. We tried kind of all of the options. We cannot get him out, we cannot fight him, we cannot wait and well, maybe we can wait more until he goes to sleep. Yeah, I guess we can explore this a little more and then go there a little later. <laughs> that door is very crooked. So what else do we have over here to steal? Ammunition? Oh. Sadly it's not opened. Hmm, looks like we've... Okay, now it's night time. Oh, this looks so different when it's night time. The lights are beautiful. I 
And there is music. Same thing, but let's not ruin their good mood. And let's see if we are right, if the guard goes home during the night. Probably not, probably this is his home. Oh, that scared me so much, I was just looking at... Oh wait, if we steal it when we are a skeleton... They no, don't know who did it. That's actually a pretty smart thing to do. Okay, so we have a lot of advantages maybe as a skeleton. So our health looks like it regenerates. Huh. Okay, so I'm starting to understand this system more or less. Yeah. I cannot wait until I get this enough skill points to use the transformation at will. I can't do that. Yeah, we also take the transformation damage, which is annoying. I heard some screaming and some moaning. It looks like all of the guards kind of work together, more or less. Oh yeah, they work together, okay. Okay, let's save over here. Maybe we'll have something else to do. But the transformation is also kind of annoying because I cannot do my quest while I, while I am transformed. Because apparently everyone fears skeletons. And let's give it another save just in case. No. Oh. What is this place over here? Well, I guess we can be the Skeleton Ninja. Oh, how do I get up there? Okay, looks like we need we need some parkour skills. Oh wow, our parkour skills are impressive. And 45 gold. Well, that's not really worth it. Yeah, this is a very nice view. Okay, this game is very impressive. To be honest, I didn't expect so much uh, depth to it. That scared me again, man. They really have to stop doing that. <sighs> I don't have any more meat with me, so that's actually a lot of drink. What, what do you mean 38 coconuts? Why do I have so many edible coconuts? Oh, you, you can make two at a time, so that means I have 18. Eh, there's nothing too much about that. The important thing is we don't starve to death or become skin and bones. Looks like it lowers our water intake when we eat. Eh, a bit annoying, but what can we do? Okay, we are a real pirate right now. We are not skin and bones anymore.
Okay, so this was just to look. Okay. Well, a note to self, don't break your legs. Well, that actually opens a lot of possibilities, infinite possibilities with you being able to, you know, go almost everywhere you want. Also, I think you can kind of manipulate the skeleton transformation more or less by saving and reloading. Okay, so initially I thought this game was a lot about crafting, but it's not. <coughs> it's a proper RPG system, okay? Here is your map, I borrowed it. Ships steering wheel. I don't have all the required items. Oh, now we can uh, we can see the entire map. I guess islands will unlock periodically. So that's our little island with the witch hut. <coughs> oh no, that's not. This is our little island, I think, maybe. No, this is our little island and this is the lost city. Hmm. So it looks like this junk, this uh, old driftwood will be our ship. <coughs> okay, that's very interesting actually. I was not expecting, like I said, so much... You know, so many things to do. Plus we also have the money. I guess later on we'll be able to buy guns. Well, the guns are coming soon in the, in the next update, so I don't think we'll be able to buy the guns from the gun shop. Yeah, this was, this was actually pretty interesting. See you next time. Bye.